countdown to Christmas. Is it countdown already? Oh, yeah. It's actually countdown. It's countdown. Merry Christmas in advance from the Davis. Why are you pointing at them? Like, don't let them be scared of you. Merry Christmas from the Davises. It's not Davises, Davis. Okay, sorry. You know my maiden name wasn't Tush, so. <laughs> They I upgraded you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, right, right. Tell my dad, yeah. Tell no, my no, dad. no, I upgraded you. Anyway, whatever. Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? I'm good here. Yeah. Good, good, good. We're, we're good here. Yeah. yeah, we're good. Yeah. So let's get down to the nitty gritty, baby. Let's get down to business. Business. So yeah, yeah. Uh, some of you have been expecting this, and what we want to talk about today is the concluding part or the part two of resolving conflicts or conflicts resolution. So we want to talk about resolving conflicts and now we're just going to go into a bit more detail like we promised mm -hmm. to tell you how we do stuff and to tell you things or tips that have helped us till today. So basically we're going to be looking at the practical side of literally how to resolve conflict. In yes. Mm -hmm. And just a little disclaimer, it's still a learning process. Yeah. Because remember conflict always happens. We've been just had one conflict now. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just, you're just a big baby. Yes, yes. But anyway, it's over. No, no, you know, we, we already worked out. We worked out. We already established that you're the baby. Anyway, so there's no baby. You know, you just have to take care of each you're other. Just both babies. Um. Okay. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Let's, anyway, let's anyway, move on to this. So, and you know, I just noticed, I actually noticed that we're almost matching clothes and we actually didn't plan it. We actually don't. Well, first, well, you do copy me because obviously know. I'm such a file fashion, fashion, fashionista. So, but yeah. Right, okay, so yeah, go on. Um, um, the first thing in resolving conflicts, I mean, I guess we should just bounce off each other yeah. what we feel. Yeah. Um, for me, the first thing in resolving conflicts in noting all, uh, the fact that there is always conflict it's always going to happen mm -hmm. i think maybe for me what i need to learn to do or what i'm still trying to learn to do is step back from the situation so let's talk about practically you have an argument step back from the situation and try and think how the other person's feeling so put mm -hmm. yourself in the other person's shoes so try and you know because a lot of times when you have conflict you're just so pissed off and you're like no wait now when you say step back do we mean actually taking time out so because step back mm -hmm. might mean you being quiet and having your you time mm -hmm. or me having my me time and that might not necessarily work in a heated dis discussion exactly yeah, when I say step back, I mean not step back as in I can't talk to you right now, just get out of here. See yeah. my drama skills there. Anyway, st step back might be like you having a bit of reflective time. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily say to your spouse, oh, you know what, don't talk to me right now, I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Even though well, some people do that. But maybe just having a reflective time and thinking, you know what, like uh, try and understand their points. Understand their points. I think I agree with that, obviously, which I know is your point. That's your strong thing. You do that a lot. Mm. You know, she has, um, it's your thing. You know, you do the reflective, you know, thinking time. Mm. Sometimes I don't have enough. That's, that's, that's the like quality of a philosopher. Like I heard Albert Einstein. Can we do what Isaac we need to talk Newton, about? Stop people. it now. <laughs> Step back and think. Yes, we know you're a thinker. Okay. Now, which is good, you know, but I think, you know, you could have this um, downside pros and cons. Yeah, um, because for me now, for example, I think so just bouncing up from your point um, is understanding your spouse and how they resolve their own conflict. True. Understanding how they react to stuff, because, for example, this you're um, thinking sometimes, you know, it, it took me a while. Yeah. It took me a while to get used to that because I felt like, you know, it was annoying for me. I'm the I type that you. you thought that I was ignoring Exactly. You. Because I'm the type that when it happens, I just want to deal with it. Ah, ah, I am. Bam. No, I'm joking. Stop, stop. I'm joking. But yeah, it's. But that goes back to the fact of the way we grew up. Yeah. Your head on, you know, okay. address an issue. Okay. Yeah. So I think for me now, so um, um, talking about the thinking, whatever, mm. it's also now knowing the timing. Okay. True. You need to, uh, when you've been with someone for a while in a relationship, or if you're married in your marriage, you've been with someone, you understand their moods. There's moods, okay? There's time. And mood swings. Not mood swings. Because <laughs> apparently I have mood swings. There's a time for everything. So there's actually a time when you can actually discuss to try and resolve 
the conflict. True. You know, because you might come to me at a bad time and I actually don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. So it's either you wait for me, for example, when I get angry, sometimes you might need to wait for me mm -hmm. to cool down, to cool Word. off. To cool off. It's just like when you're in a car and your car. This just came. You know, when you're in a car, for, for people that are driven. <laughs> like, no, for people that are driven rubbish, not rubbish, but cars that are not too good. I've driven some really bad cars <laughs> in the past. You know, those kind of cars that overheat a lot. Do you know the mean of car overheating? No, I am just driving new cars, sorry. <laughs> no, when the car is overheating, yeah, it means either the water in the radiator mm -hmm. is, um, is finished or is low or the radiator is bad basically so i've had some cars in the past where the radiator was bad and guess what when the car then overheats and that means the temperature gauge on your car it shows you that it's really high mm -hmm. it overheats what you need to do is what allow it to calm down because if the car doesn't cool off and you open the radiator that's overheating that that's got problems mm -hmm. then it's gonna it's, it's gonna you're gonna have a face burn mm -hmm. It will splash on your face. Baby, I see where you've gone spiritual. No, I'm not going spiritual yet. Spiritual. You've gone spiritual. No, so the car is like your spouse when you've had an eating. Yes. Discussion. So like, no, okay. it, because <laughs> so you now have to calm down, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then when it's now calm, you now know the right time to open up the radiator, or else it might burn you. Thank you. It might burn you. Mm -hmm. So you need to know the right time to go back to them. You know. To go back to your wife, to go back to your husband, to say, you know what, yeah, this is what happened. Um, uh, I'm sorry, because mm -hmm. at some there sometimes I don't even want to hear sorry. Sometimes I always tell me, why are you sorry? <laughs> no. So sometimes you too, you do that as well, because you're like, oh, you're just saying sorry. Anyways, let's move on. I think we've established that mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. You know, so you need to know the right time to actually approach them in order to discuss, and yeah. that leads us to the next point actually, which is. You need to actually, you need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Silence is not going to resolve it. It's not. It's not. Wait, just going back a bit, baby. Just remember that every, fo every form of dealing with conflict is varied to each individual. Yeah. So, so, okay, for instance, put my hands up. I'm a crier. Like any kind of situation, any confrontational situation, I just end up crying because I hate... I hate like being in a situation where you know like I'm not in control of the situation and when I'm having an argument with someone so you like to be in charge not be in charge but you know like when I don't know how to describe it. you wouldn't understand because he's a shelter you know so a crier versus a shelter so obviously we've obviously. established we've established that um, um uh, different emotions exactly you know so that's what I'm saying but you shouldn't what I was gonna say is you shouldn't blame your spouse for having that kind of emotion mm. so I shouldn't now because because of I also, like because we're having a conflict saying you're the reason I'm crying you're the reason I'm crying when I know deep down even if it was my dad shouting at me or even if it was Michaela shouting at me or even if it was your boss at work <laughs> even if it was my boss I'll be like, <laughs> you know so don't because that can be annoying as well don't blame yeah. your spouse for the way you feel and you're right to feel that way you can feel that way it's an emotion so mm. yeah just accept that the next point <clears throat> I kind of forgot that train of No, course. so we're talking about talking about it. So you need to have that conversation. Yes, so after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to actually have the conversation. There's no... Because what happens is, if, if you bottle it up, mm -hmm. you know, and just be like, okay, they said sorry, let me move on. Get swept under so, the carpet. Yes, it gets swept under the carpet. And guess what? It will probably resurface. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Which, permit me, you know, I always talk about dealing with the root cause okay like root cause analysis i can feel it mm. no so dealing with, I'm, I'm i'm very <laughs> I i'm very no no i'm very particular about dealing with the root cause now i'll explain why i've explained why to you two million times yes because say for example you have a wound mm -hmm. you have a wound yeah on your where's your wound let me see if you have a wound anyway. i don't know i'm fresh no <laughs> so imagine you have a wound on your elbow or something okay and then you, 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 your skin is gone, you had a burn or mm -hmm. whatever. Guess what? What do you do? Maybe you're feeling pain at the time, you take paracetamol. Mm -hmm. Paracetamol would ease the pain. Mm -hmm. However, you've not dealt with the wound. So yeah. what will happen after the paracetamol wears out? You still feel, you the, still pain. feel the pain. So it will resurface. And that's why I'm very picky and very particular about dealing with the root cause. Now, in dealing with the root cause, that's when you're talking about it. 
So you're having the conversation. Guess what? What you think actually made your spouse angry or what you think you did might not actually be why they're angry. Okay, yeah. So yeah. that's why it's not making assumptions. So it's still under the same point of yeah. talking about it. Yeah. So you need to understand that it might be that it was something you did a month ago, okay, <laughs> that she just remembered or something he because did. Because you didn't deal with it at that Because time. you didn't deal with it then. So you've done something again, something mm. little, very little, but because you didn't deal with it, with it then, then she now remembers what you've done a month ago mm. and she's now angry. And you might be thinking, oh, it's because I did not or I did not give him food this morning or I did not give her food this morning however it might be something you did last week so dealing with the root cause root cause it's is when you talk about it yeah so you have the conversation and say you know what yeah. what was the problem why what did exactly you get to that problem? point exactly and how can we not do it again yeah how can we not do it again you know so you have that conversation you deal with sorry uh, you have that conversation and you establish what the problem was so you can establish the right fix for it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, what I don't like, like, okay, yeah, is well. you know, you deal with the root cause, but don't flog the issue. You know, if the person has told you their point, there's no need to go deep. But why? Why did you do that? No, no, no. I can't understand no. why you did that. I think in dealing with it, you're no longer angry now. So you might still be angry, okay? But that's why you not you need to know the right time. Mm -hmm. So there's times we try to deal with the root cause whilst either of us is still angry. Mm -hmm. And then that's when you feel I'm flogging the issue. Yeah. But I'm not necessarily flogging the issue. I just want us to get to a point where we know, okay, this is what caused the problem. Let it not happen again. What can we do mm -hmm. so it doesn't happen again? But sometimes she's like, let's just move on. Do you understand? Because mm -hmm. I'm flogging the issue. So I think it's getting that balance. balance. And then being like, because remember I sent you that picture from Instagram about a marriage or something a marriage with a couple basically when you're having a discussion you must communicate respectfully yeah listen to each other so that you can resolve the issue so when you are having you know when you're trying to resolve conflict no name calling and it doesn't even have to be name calling like really deep name calling just little stuff like what your point doesn't make sense that's rude that's <laughs> I'm trying to talk to the people. No. Your point doesn't make sense. Or oh, that's dumb. Like, <laughs> there's little comments there that you'll be thinking, wait, did my man just call me, did my girl just call me dumb? Like, I'm trying to say a point. You're trying to open your heart to the person. Yeah. And then yeah. they say to you, that doesn't make sense. Or well, that's stupid. No, none of that. So even if it doesn't make sense, just you know. Baby, I feel you. No, you don't even need to say I baby, understand I feel you. You're yeah, making sense. You just need to. At the end of the day, you don't want to. Add salt. How do they say? It? Add add salt to injury. Yeah, salt to injury. I think so. Yeah. Would well, they get what you mean, Sam? Yeah. So you, you don't need to fuel it. Mhm. Mm you know what you're trying to do is that there's a fire. Yeah. And you want to quench it. Yes. So if you're now saying the things that that's dumb, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> when you're actually trying to resolve and discuss yeah. it, then you're making matters worse. And you know what? The person won't talk to you again. They actually won't. Each yeah. time you do that, the person every time you have an argument. They will just say what you want to hear. Yeah. And but, that's but, when you've lost it in your yeah. relationship. When your partner says what you want to hear. Because you're not being honest with each other. Which is a very good point. And that's what, that's what you don't want. Okay. I was going to say something. But yeah, let's move on. Let's move on from this point. Mm -hmm. But I was going to say something about, about that. But I think you said it already. You know. So that's why it is important. Don't bottle stuff up. Yeah. Because if you bottle stuff up, it's going to explode. Definitely. So that's one thing that I have learned definitely from this marriage, and you know, you definitely learned that as well. You don't bottle stuff up. Yeah, well. No, I've you learned, don't bottle stuff. I've learned from you. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's you yeah, know, that's true. You used to bottle things. Yeah. A bottler. And then I explode. <laughs> and then you now explode. But now, <laughs> since she stopped bottling up stuff, because basically I'm like, immediately it happens. Immediately you you feel something. I've done something. Just let me know. Let's discuss it. Mm, you know. Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat. Snapchat. Snapchat. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. Now, so after we've done that, so you've talked about it, and then um, what else? Um, after we So in, in, in talking about it, and um, okay, good. Swallow your pride. Nes ah, that is number one. So Especially, wait. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, no, you go, go. No, go. No, no, no baby, because I think it comes better after my point. Oh, okay, you see. Now, in swallowing your pride, we already established for if you've not seen the shoe game, go and see the shoe game, okay? Maybe I'll try and put a link there. Go and see the shoe game, because in the shoe game, we established that I say sorry first. For me to say sorry first, what? 
That's okay, okay. For me to say sorry first, me as a man, grown man, that's me. that means I've swallowed my what? My pride. So I've swallowed my pride, my ego, anything that's making me feel like, yeah, I'm the superior one, why should I say sorry? And it's in the same way that the woman should, because some women are proud, mm. okay? So you don't need to, there's no, it's not going to get you anywhere. The moment I realized, trust me, I used to be very stubborn and, you know, not necessarily proud, but I used to be like, if, if you cannot say sorry to me, I'd rather not talk to you again. So this, you might even relate this issue to normal friendship. Mm -hmm. There's people that are not friends anymore today because, <laughs> because something happened and the other party said, if she doesn't talk to me, I'm not going to talk, talk to, her. to her. Why can't you talk to her first? Mm -hmm. So when you come into marriage or into your relationship, you must be able to swallow your pride. Mm -hmm. What do they have to say? I was going to say, when you said something, remind me to say something about the sorry. But anyway, I was going to say, because one, one word that we heard is true life story, yeah. So one time me and I were having an argument. No, we didn't even physically have an argument. We just decided we're not talking to each other because I don't even know why we conflicted, why we had conflict. Anyway, so you can sit down dates because I don't know what you're about to say. <laughs> listen, listen, so we were walking around the house, all vexed. Everyone was just, you know, going about their business. And mum was here. So that's Ayo's mum. She's here. She was like, come, come. Whatever it is that's going on between you two, I don't want to know. Whoever's in the wrong, I don't want to know. But both of you need to swallow your pride and forget who's done wrong and both just say sorry. Okay, yeah, I remember. And that's how simple it is. Like, yeah. That's how, that's how simple it is. Like, forget who's in the wrong. Don't say, oh, you know what? I said sorry last time. I'm not saying sorry this time. Or I say sorry all the time. Mm. He's taking a mix. She's taking a mix. Forget about that one, because exactly. at the end of the day, what this you, person, want is you just want peace. peace. You just want peace. So, like, obviously, even though I was in the wrong that time, I had to, you know, swallow my pride. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, I don't even remember who was. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't but, remember. But um, yeah, just like for the sake of peace, and obviously, like. People who have been longer in marriage know that, that it's actually not worth it. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. And, you know, there's people that, like, if they could give one more day to just say sorry to their spouse, they don't have one more day. Mm -hmm. like, and you're lucky enough to be with your partner every day and yeah. you're here, like, wasting time. Time waits for no man. No man, bro. So, not no even man. just in your marriage. Like, if you really want to be friends with someone, mm -hmm. Just say sorry. If you've done wrong, just say sorry. It doesn't. Yeah. It's not going to be pasted on your forehead. That's what mum would say. It's not going to be pasted on your forehead that you said sorry. Mm -hmm. And sorry does not. And it doesn't you make you a fool. fool. It doesn't make exactly. you the weaker vessel. And trust me. Well, you know what? If at all it does anything, it makes you the bigger person. It makes you the more responsible person. It actually makes you the wiser one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. So, anyways, yeah. Yeah, I kind of stress that, that, I kind of stress, story goes a long way. There's many times, yeah, this thing, that's what I'm thinking, we might not be able to finish everything we ah, need to baby, say. Let's finish it, let's round no, it up. No, if you guys want to hear more, we'll give you a part three. No, because... <laughs> okay, so this is like a Nollywood movie now. No, definitely. maybe we're going to turn it into a series. A se ah, mini series, okay. Because it, 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 it is important to get all these things, I was going to say something. Now, sometimes, or when, when we initially just died, even before we got married, she tries to move on. You know, you just try to move on. So something has happened. Say, for example, um, we, we had whatever issue, we've shouted at each other, do you understand? And then I've gone my way, she's gone her way. Like 30 minutes after, she might just come to me and say, ah, please, pass me the remote. Or, 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 but that's a no, style, that's a no, style wait, to get talking. Wait, it's fine. That was a skill. Is that Come on, ladies, can you relate? Wait, you know, I can relate. Baby, do you want to eat? Yeah. Can I help you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. No. But you, what you used to do was, you literally wanted to just say, you know what, yeah, let's move on. And me, I, I was very particular. I swear one time you said to me, did you put poison in this food? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Because I'm like, we've just finished arguing. I There's no sorry. We have not discussed it. You now just want to force me to eat. That's my way of saying sorry. That's, 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 um, African woman's way of saying sorry. Oh, you so you're name. African? Yeah, no. She's African. Please record it. She's African. <laughs> okay, baby, let's move on to the cocoa. Okay. Line. So, so now the relation, everything, you we've resolved the conflict, done what we're supposed to do. How do you take it to that next level? So now to take it to the next level, um, that's when you now want to, you probably want to go the extra mile. Okay, so you said sorry, 
you've discussed it. You guys have said, okay, I forgive you. Mm -hmm. I think forgiveness is another topic entirely. We'll touch on that another time. So I think we'll discuss that one separately. Mm -hmm. So you've discussed it and you said, I forgive you. And guess what? You probably need to establish that you really mean it. You mean it and um, uh, you're not counting it. Yeah. So, so yeah, just when you forgive someone, you're not, what do you say? Say it. When you, when you forgive someone, you don't like hold it against them. Yeah, so you're not holding it against yeah. them. You're not, you're not keeping records mm -hmm. of, of, their wrong. of their wrongs. Yeah. And I think there's a scripture in the Bible that actually mm -hmm. says that in the book of Corinthians. Yeah, love, love doesn't keep a record of wrongs. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs. So don't go back and keep on saying, oh, that's what you did last time. Maybe. Exactly. And don't keep reminding them mm -hmm. about the stuff that happened two years ago. Mm -hmm. So if you've had that issue, you've discussed it, you've said, I forgive you, you said, I love you move on leave it in the past just move on leave okay in the past. Yeah. yeah so now going the extra mile in going the extra mile you might need to do something extra mm -hmm. that's why it's extra. i think you should do something extra i mean to show that no it depends i think it depends on the level sorry it depends on the level of 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 of, of the issue yeah so that, yeah yeah so right. there's some that basically after you don't even need to tell me i'll be the one to tell her Baby, go and dress up. Let me take you out for dinner. You know, just to make it up. You know, just to make it up. I say, you know, I messed up, okay? I messed up. Let's go to McDonald's. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, rape me. Rape me. It's not McDonald's. Okay, no, no, no. Seriously, yeah. I'll take her somewhere nice, you know. Or I might just decide to say, I might go out and come back and might buy something for her. Or I might write a card, you know. I've not done that card one many times, but I think I've I should provoke you more because actually, so, no, because I haven't received I'm like, oh, you know what, in a yeah. while. I might just give her a present, I might just do something. And she does yeah. the same thing as well. Because basically, she wants to go the extra mile. She said, What do you want? What can I do? I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. How can I make things work? If I'm like, It's fine, it's fine. She would think of something, mm -hmm. you know, and go and just do something extra. And I'm like, Uh uh, baby, you didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. I already said I forgave you. But and then, it, doesn't what have to be do? a it doesn't have to be a big deal. It could be just it could be something that caused conflict. Like remember we had an argument about me washing my car. It's my car. When yeah. I want to wash it, I'll wash it. But when Ayo comes in, he's like, ah, this car's dirty. We had a big argument about it. You didn't yeah. have to tell me twice. The next week I made sure I wash that car inside out. Exactly. Everything was smelling nice. I was like, baby, did you see? He's like, yeah, so and he was happy. So it made me happy. Yeah. So you need to probably do something. Not necessarily open. Doesn't have to be a big thing. Well, you might just need to go the extra mile to tell them how sorry you are mm -hmm. and also to broke a piece. Okay? Yeah, definitely. And then um there's something that I think is the biggest way of saying sorry or the biggest way of getting back on track, and that is praise and worship. Now Wow, no. hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> no, people might be watching us and don't be like, these guys are always talking about that. That's all we do, praise and worship. No, it's actually essential, it's yeah. actually key because, like, you won't be able to get to that place, you won't be able to be intimate if yes. you guys are beefing each other. If you can do that, that's a skill, and that is not something that should actually be done in marriage. Yeah. But definitely, that is a way to bring you both together, you know, release some energy. Yeah, you release all the anger, tension, all anger. the tension. Yeah, and then. And trust me, you're back on track. After oh, that, you guys are probably like, what we do here is after we're, okay. What? Tell them what we do! No, but after, I'm not like, we discuss it after, we're laughing about <laughs> something that we were both crying yeah, about. Something literally. we were both angry yeah, about. That's true. Because that way, it just ends everything. Yeah. And it just says, you know what, I forgive you, I tick the box, I love you, I tick the box. Mm -hmm. And you're back on, on track. track. Okay? So, we don't want to stay too long. Um, let us know your thoughts. Yep, yep, Remember yep. to like, share, and subscribe. Yep. Am I being calm enough? Yeah. I'm calm. Maybe it's the hands. I'm not that, that shouting. No. Yeah. Can see that I'm calm. It's the hands. Remember though. somebody that was reading one comment. Somebody said that the day that we come on this camera and we don't laugh with each other and we don't do stuff, then we know that so. there's an issue. So as you can see, there's no issue. There's Even though there was an issue earlier, we resolved it. We resolved it. So yeah. you need to go and resolve it. Because so, we both said sorry. We both said sorry. So perhaps you're watching this and you've had an issue with your husband, with your wife, with your um, partner. Mm -hmm. Better go and caress them. Go and do some praise and worship. You people will feel fine. Go and tell them sorry. Okay? And yeah, I hope you've gotten some tips from this video. Definitely, um, yeah. We love you guys. Thank you for your support. Yeah. And uh, do the outro. Merry Christmas in advance. In advance. Happy New Year in advance. We're going to try and get a vlog in before the New Year. A uh, video yeah. rather, in before the New Year. We'll get a yeah, so. And I think we have something special for you. We do. 
I don't okay. know. Okay, alright, okay. Well, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out. So, yeah, 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 we are. And perhaps there might be a part three if you want to see a part no, three. No, 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 it's enough. It's, on two. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, then, guys. Yes. Alright, thank bye. you. Stay locked on to Oppie and Naya's channel. Yep, yep, and yep. And then we'll keep telling you stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And thank you, we've met a lot of uh, guys lately, um, a lot of people. Yeah. You know. Why is it that our buy is never buy? Okay, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Kisses. Kiss, loves. <laughs> Good luck.